Kira again, welcome back. I hope you, you are getting through all the tutorials. Um, I just want to tidy up the creation of the PDF and what's sort of required for the assignment and explain why I'm, I'm going through all these steps. The, the benefit of, of adjusting uh, or creating the layouts in Rhino allows us to um, come in and change the design uh, and I'll just do this quickly um, and copy so just so we can see uh, um, so I've got two there if we go back out to the layouts you can see now that it's got uh, the two views of it coming through so it, it, it they're connected live so if I go back and I just bring this one a bit closer oh no actually leave that one and bring this one in close and go back to layout so you can see how they are sort of live windows into the design so I can update okay, yeah. update this um, into there get in there come on up here why is it not working so it should be I think it's locked so if we just pan that down so we can just fit that in and then lock it again um, so you can see I've changed my design, but I haven't had to radically redo all the layout. Uh, I'll just leave that one. Um, come back. So I will just need to update some of these. So just unlock it. Fits that in. Might need to just check things are still aligned, um, but you get the idea. Also, now when I create a new layout page to put the script on, so if we go um, down to the layouts box and click plus, and it comes up with some options here. So uh, I want detail count zero. I don't want to any views in at this stage still using the same size so I can just go apply and then um, I can put in a picture so if I type in picture this picture comes up and it will ask for a file so I've saved that um, grasshopper script before or even here maybe I think it's that one um, and then I can just click and drag that across like that and I've got that script in there as well so I can add that to the document um, so I've got these uh, different PDFs so I might um, bring that down to the bottom um, and also I just need to maybe put some text in here so I can just in the command type text I've got plan say um, I can apply that and put that let's put it over here so you can see how I can start to give these um, drawings more information I'm doing this sort of the other thing is if you want you can bring these things into PowerPoint you would just have to print each page individually to be able to bring it into to PowerPoint um, so if you go print you can see here um, pages one to one um, so that would allow me just to print that page um, 
or if I push all it would print three pages so I could if I needed to get that second page say so I can just go from two to two and, and then save that as a PDF or print it as a PDF if you're on the PC um, and I've set that scale as one to one and just have a play uh, depending on what settings you've done uh, vector output here and here so um, I'll just save as PDF and call layout page 2 Ooh. save so um, you can just export it out as one big group of image of pages if you want so um, if I sorry not export print and then just do all of it then I can print that and submit that to um, Blackboard so that can be the way of getting all those put together except I push print sorry uh, don't print Oops. Uh, command uh, so you, you pretend you're going to print you want to do all the pages um, and then don't be afraid to play out with some of the play around with some of these things there's a few other um, bits and pieces which we'll get into later uh, and save as a PDF if you're on a Mac and you can print to the Rhino PDF driver if you're on a PC so um, iteration oh, one um, and then I could maybe give it my name something like that uh, and save and then I can submit that to Blackboard for the first iteration so the idea is just to get as far along as you can um, so it doesn't need to be finished it doesn't need to be perfect but hopefully you get the idea um, if you do want to use PowerPoint um, so here we can just go insert a picture from file and uh, so page two all right let's do yeah do that one get the idea um, I would actually delete that first and then insert that so insert picture from file uh, page two insert and then we've got that page so you've got the text um, and the views that we've set up uh, and I can also add another page and another slide uh, I'll just get rid of all those for now um, and insert an image from file and this one I could use the um, script that I'd created earlier so this one might want to make it a little bit smaller just so there's some room uh, hopefully that helps you get to where you need today and bye